So is 2024 going to be an amazing year for tech? Okay, and certain tech companies. You know, I'm bullish on a couple companies I share with the channel. I'm holding PayPal right now. I'm holding Palantir, and I wanna show you really quick what Dan Ives has to say about the 2024 bull market rally with tech. Do this, I wanna show you what people are actually saying about Dan Ives, and I'll also show you his profile so you can actually do your research. But he has a pretty big following. He's, he's been in stocks for a while, it seems like. He gives his opinion, he gives price targets. Um, and I will tell you one thing about Palantir in a second that you're definitely gonna wanna understand and know. But he says, in our opinion, the new tech bull market has begun. And tech stocks are set up for a strong 2024. As we expect tech to be up 20% led by big tech as the AI spending tidal wave hits the shores of the tech world. Now the rest of the tech sector joins the Magnificent Seven in the rally. So get this, what he's saying, the Magnificent Seven has done amazing this year. New all-time highs like Apple. I believe the NASDAQ 100 hit a new all-time high today. So what he's trying to tell you all is other companies, technology companies, are about to go with, go up, just like the Magnificent Seven did, okay? The Microsoft, the Googles, all of those guys, okay? So what does that have to say about Palantir, for example? Well, I'll just tell you right now, guys, Palantir is priced at $18.50 right now. Excuse me, $18.20. Palantir is a $25 stock minimum. I think before like the end of first quarter of 2024. So just to kind of tell you that, and I've, I've obviously made content on Palantir before. Um, I've been in and out of it since $7, traded it. But 25 bucks from now is a 35% move to the upside. So you can go with all these other stocks that can get you 100%, 200%, 300% maybe in a matter of a week. Very risky. You might lose some money too. Or you could choose a solid company that has good financials. That's a very... That's a growth company that has amazing products that constantly gets deals with the government, okay? And to get 35% from where we're at today, I'm a buyer, right? The last time I actually bought this stock was at $17.22. Uh, the recent bottom was actually 1706, so I got in at 17.22. I update the Patreon on all of this stuff if you wanna join the community, links down below. So let's look at Dan Ives and really learn about him and at least his profile on X. He's been around for quite some time. He has over 90,000 followers on X. You can see official account for Dan Ives, Wedbush MD tech analysis on Wall Street over two decades, over 20 years being in tech, okay? Analyzing different stocks, family stocks, sports, all of it. Now he's also given price targets of Palantir saying it's gonna go to 25 bucks. And honestly guys, that's like the minimum for Palantir. I think Palantir, as it continues to grow over this next year in 2024, I think it's gonna do a lot better. I think it could reach as high as potentially, potentially around 35 to maybe $40, okay? That would be like the tip top, I think, that could happen over these next six months, potentially. This is just my own opinion, of course, not financial advice. Just kind of me looking at the charts, analyzing them, looking at the news. I think Palantir is a very solid company. Let's talk about PayPal for a second. PayPal, also very undervalued, just be my own opinion right now, trading at 21, 61, 26, not 21, 61 bucks. But again, I think this is gonna have a fast move up all the way to at least $77. And I'll just tell you right now, where that puts us at is about a 25% return on investment as of today. So again, if you don't like stocks, if you don't like high risk, my recommendation would be go invest in an ETF but if I could put my money in Palantir and PayPal, and after researching and looking at exactly what I think could happen, what has happened before, if I can get a 25 to 30% return in even a month or a couple months, I'm gonna be happy with that. I'll rotate those profits into other stocks that are undervalued. Um, I have some other picks that I've obviously talked about with the Patreon if you wanna learn more about the charts and how we read it. It's an awesome community. We have over 165 active members now. Like 14 people signed up yesterday, so the $7 tier is actually gonna go away December 24th. So a bunch of people joined that. Um, I also have other tiers like cryptocurrency and things you wanna learn, obviously. It might help you in 2024. If you think it's worth the investment, we'll see you in there. So guys, I do think 
the market is going to rally a lot higher going into this next year. Okay. Everything's making new all time highs. Yes, that could be scary for some people, but that's why I like to look at certain companies that are undervalued. I look at the RSI very closely. So you got to pick the right stocks out there. Um, crazy day, crazy week, right? We had a crazy day today with some other stocks that we talk about on this channel, but definitely blessed, grateful for another day with all of you. I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy your Friday. Um, if you won this week, congrats to you. Spend time with the family, whatever it is, and we'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, with some coffee.